Yesterday morning, three Guardians of Earth blasted off into space on a mission that could save lives and protect our technology. This isn't just another rocket launch. This is humanity's latest defense against the sun's violent side, because while solar storms create breathtaking auroras, they can also cripple our communications, threaten astronauts, and leave millions without power. Meet the ultimate cosmic carpool. Three cutting-edge satellites worth $1.6 billion, all sharing one SpaceX rocket to save money while revolutionizing space weather science. Their destination? A strategic lookout post one million miles from Earth four times farther than the moon, where they'll have an unobstructed view of our star's fury. This isn't just NASA's show. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is joining forces, with NASA contributing $879 million and no AI adding $693 million to this cosmic defense system. Leading the charge is NASA's Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe, or IMAP. Think of it as our solar system's bouncer. IMAP will study the heliosphere, that protective bubble of solar wind that shields us from deadly cosmic radiation. It's like Earth's ultimate force field, and we'll finally understand how it works. But here's the game changer. IMAP can give us a 30-minute warning before dangerous solar storms hit. That might not sound like much, but for astronauts on the moon, those 30 minutes could mean the difference between life and death. Perfect timing because NASA's planning to send astronauts around the moon under the Artemis program next year, and IMAP will be their early warning system. The second Guardian is the Carruthers Geocorona Observatory, and it's got a touching backstory named after George Carruthers, the brilliant scientist who invented the ultraviolet telescope that Apollo 16 astronauts left on the moon in 1972. Carruthers will study Earth's outermost atmosphere, a glowing gas shell extending well beyond the moon, We've never had such a detailed view of this cosmic halo that helps protect us from space radiation. The third satellite might be the most important for our daily lives. NOAA's newest space weather observatory will work around the clock, 24-7, monitoring the sun's activity. Every solar flare, every coronal mass ejection, every burst of solar wind, this satellite will track it all and warn us before it hits. Because when a major solar storm hits, it's not just astronauts at risk. It's our power grids, internet, GPS systems. Basically, modern civilization as we know it. Now, NASA already has an impressive fleet watching the sun. But according to science mission chief Nikki Fox, these new satellites pack more advanced instruments to give us unprecedented sensitivity. It's like upgrading from a basic weather station to a sophisticated meteorological network. Combining all these observations gives you a much clearer picture of what our star is really doing. While these missions will help us better predict those stunning northern and southern lights, that's not their main focus. Their real job is protection. When the next big solar storm comes, and it will come, these satellites will give those four Artemis astronauts enough warning to take shelter in their spacecraft's storage area hiding under the capsule floor until the radiation passes. NASA expects its satellites to be fully operational by early next year, with NOAA's weather monitor joining the party by spring. In an age where we're more dependent on technology than ever, and as we prepare to return humans to deep space, these three satellites represent something profound. Humanity's growing wisdom about living safely in a violent universe. Three satellites, one rocket, and a $1.6 billion investment in keeping Earth and everyone on it, safe from the sun's worst moods. Sometimes the best defense really is a good early warning system.